in the technology world, in the mining and, met and process metallurgy world, there are actually not all that many women. And these days, people are very concerned about why that is. And I think there are many reasons. Um, when I started working in the 1970s and 1980s in the workplace, you would find lots of pinup girls, naked women, pictures on the wall. I used to have a very rude drawing on my uh, wall. And the women who would join the workforce at that time we clearly have to put up with that. Um, when I went to Sudbury in 1988, the manager of the smelter there, a man named Jose Blanco, very, very good guy, had pushed all that out of the smelter so that all the calendars were gone. He was probably one of the exceptions to have done that by 1988. I don't think we really got civilized till the 1990s. Uh, but certainly not in the, maybe the late 80s was when the civilization started. At the same, interestingly enough, um, about 2005, one of the employees, a male who was working in our plant at, in Wales at the time called me up and he was complaining about the naked women in the calendars in the workplace in Wales in 2005. So I don't know where Canada goes in the, uh, in the scheme of things, but it's certainly in 2005 they will still die up. And, I think, I'm sure they have gone by now, but it took a while to, to do that. I read an article recently that uh, women are, you know, very big into uh, engineering that is connected with sustainability, uh, any sort of engineering that is connected to biological fields. I believe in the education system there are more women than men. In the mining, it is about I don't know, something like 20% 20, 20 perhaps, or maybe even less, I think it's less than that, maybe 17% women in, the, in schools in mining. And it's a real shame because we're not taking advantage of that part of the world's expertise.